we're discussing two concepts in this video that relate to the use of math in modular synthesis. We'll cover prime number sequences and calculating pitches in hertz. Prime numbers are positive numbers that can only be evenly divided by themselves and the number 1. These numbers can be used to create tastefully complex sequences and rhythms that repeat infrequently. When we combine any two sequences, the pattern they produce repeats at their least common multiple. And since prime numbers have no common factors other than 1, their least common multiple is their product. So we just multiply them together to see how many ticks it will take for the pattern to repeat. Here's an example. I have this sequencer running two sequences. One is five steps, and the other is seven steps. The five step is playing on beats one, three, and five, and the seven step is playing on beats three, four, and six, but any pattern will work. The gates are then combined using a logic module set to trigger on both inputs by utilizing the OR output. The gate output is then used as the trigger source for a hi-hat sound, and this is the rhythm that it produces. This rhythm, and literally any other pattern you make with these subsequences, will repeat every 35 ticks of the clock because the product of 5 and 7 is 35. We can adjust the probabilities now with a Bernoulli gate. This type of gate sends a trigger to either the A or B output based on the probability set by this knob. I did a video on this particular module if you're interested. Let's set it up so it plays a closed hi-hat most of the time, but triggers an open hi-hat sometimes. Here's how that sounds. I like that a lot, but we can go deeper. Let's chain the Bernoulli gate so the A output also feeds the second section. Now this can gate the hi-hat module's accent feature. We just need to press this button here on the Bernoulli gate to put it in latch mode. This will hold the gate high or low every time it's triggered until the next trigger occurs. Here's how that sounds. And now here it is with a full kit. Next we'll discuss calculating pitches in hertz in the context of equal temperament tuning, which is when you take an octave and split that sucker into equal parts. You'll sometimes see or hear this type of tuning system abbreviated as EDO, or TET, which stand for Equal Division of the Octave, and Tone Equal Temperament, respectively, but it means the same thing. In our case we're going to use 12 EDO, because it's the fundamental tuning system for modern western music, but there are other types like 31 EDO and 69 EDO. In this tuning system, each half step, or semitone for all the non-Americans, is spaced out by a constant frequency ratio of the twelfth root of two which equals 1.05946 and some change. This even spacing gives each octave 12 half steps and gives us our chromatic scale. The standard reference pitch in 12 EDO is A4, set at 440 Hz. We can use this information to calculate any pitch's frequency based on a reference pitch. Here's the equation that I like. Fn is the pitch we're trying to hit in Hz. F0 is the reference pitch. In this case we're going to use A4 at 440 Hz, so let's put 440 here. This little guy here is the number of half steps our desired pitch is from the reference pitch. For this example I'll use D4 as the pitch I want. Now just picture a piano in your head and count the keys for each half step. A4 down to D4 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and since we moved left the number is negative. Slam that sucker into your calculator, and boom, 293.665 Hz, one of my favorite pitches. If we had gone right, like going up to D5, we'd have to use a positive number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and now we have 587.329 Hz. I know what you're thinking, that seems like a lot of f***ing work to get a pitch, and you're absolutely right. You could use other modules to assist you, like a tuner, or a quantizer. But understanding how frequency works and relates to pitch can help satisfy your nerd urge and can be useful if you need to tune an oscillator, just like in this video I made on Proteus.
Colin Stump9706 mentions he has a spreadsheet for calculating notes for both 12 EDO and 31 EDO. Let's have a look at how we might make one of those. If you don't want to try to make it yourself, you can download it. Link in the description. We're going to need three columns for this. Let's title the first one, Note Name. The second one, Half Steps from A4. And the third one, Frequency, with HC for Hertz as a parenthetical. In the note name column, we just input the names of the notes in order from lowest to highest. Let's go from C0 to C8, so that's 97 entries to do. It'll end up looking like this. Then we input the half steps. Start with negative 57, and then put negative 56. Select both these cells, and then just drag it to the end. Sheets will get the idea and autofill it for you. We'll autofill the last column too. The formula is equals 440 times 2 to the B2 over 12 for this first cell. One more time except with B3 in the exponent. And then select both these cells and drag it all the way down. Now we have a list of every note's frequency in hertz for 12 equal division of the octave tuning. Let's add a little bit of pizzazz so it doesn't look so ugly. And there it is. Call and let us know if we're missing anything. Phantom Beta mentions knobs that let you input values in hertz like this one. Can intake letter names of notes, such as E5, and it'll just switch the knob to that pitch. So that's pretty handy. You can also input some math if you fancy that. Thanks for the info, Phantom Beta, you rock. Well, that's it for this one. If you like this kind of stuff, you can let me know that by clicking the like button, leaving a comment, and subscribing if you haven't already. All of my content will forever be free on my Ko-fi page. It's linked in the description if you want to check it out. We have a new supporter added to the list. Shout out to LStackEM. Not only are you an amazing and awesome supporter, but you're also the first ever monthly supporter, which makes me so happy and excited to make more content. Thank you so much, LStackEM. You rock. I want to say a huge thank you to my other supporters as well. Your unwavering encouragement inspires me. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.